your rank and how, how you spell your name, what unit you're in first to start with, sir? Mark Bingley, Major, uh, Alaska Army National Guard. I spell my name Mark, M-A-R-K-B-I-N-G-G-E-L-I. -G -G -E okay, sir. Um, what is it that we've, we've got going on here today, sir? Today is a, a live fire demonstration here at the uh, uh, Infantry Branch School in Darulaman. Uh, we've got about a dozen Mongolian uh, artillery and, and uh, support weapons mentors here are going to do a fire, live fire demonstration uh, for some uh, guests as we uh, are in the first month of the infantry branch school being open. Um, we're on the Camp Scenic Ranges uh, above Camp Dubs and Camp Julian here in Darulaman. The, the Afghan National Army is, is training on uh, the, the Russian style or Russian weapon systems, especially the artillery and, and indirect fire weapons. And uh, Mongolians are unique as having experiences uh, being mentors and trainers on the, the Russian uh, equipment. And so they're a key piece of the school. The school is led by a, the senior mentors are the British uh, Army. Um, but the Mongolians bring a unique skill set to it to uh, uh, train the uh, train the trainers per se with uh, as mentors for the infantry school. Okay. Do you feel better? Weapon systems do they have here today? At the infantry school, we, we focus two primary weapons. One is the 82 millimeter mortar, uh, as you see behind me, and then the SPG-9 recoilless rifles are up on the hill. Uh, they'll be training and firing those two weapon systems today in support of infantry operations. So they integrate those with the infantry uh, school here at Camp Scenic. Sir, how, is the, uh, how do you feel the training, uh, the mentorship mission has been going uh, between the Mongolians and, and the ANA? Uh, so far, the, the school's been in operation for about a month now, and uh, all, all reports are that the, the Mongolian support's been vital to the, the training here at the school. Um, the, the British mentor, senior mentors here at the school have, have integrated the Mongolian team into their camp and uh, their, their curriculum here. Um, the, the school's only been operation for a short while, just did its uh, grand opening here last month and uh, uh, they're looking at putting out large quantities of uh, Afghan army infantrymen with uh, the skills and training provided by the mentor team. What does the American forces have to do with, with uh, the Mongolian school, the Afghan school? The, uh, the majority of the support here out of Camp Dubs is provided by uh, U.S. forces. Um, as far as the, the life support building um, is being provided on Camp Julian, Camp Dubs has dining facility, MWR, and, and laundry and that sort of thing uh, to support the team here. We've got about a dozen Mongolian troops here. Uh, as mentors and um, they fall under the, the support structure of the uh, Camp Dubs cadre um, and then under the, the guidance of the senior mentors from uh, the UK. Brand new refurbished uh, mortars that have just arrived here to the school as they're equipping the, the ANA with uh, uh, the latest, not necessarily the latest, but the uh, brand new weapons. Uh, the SBG-9s, uh, some of those are brand new, uh, will just be fired for the first time today and the uh, mortars behind me have all been refurbished recently, so uh, it's good to see the, the ANA being provided with uh, uh, brand new equipment or refurbished equipment so that they can go off and conduct their missions and train with uh, good stuff. Let's talk the Alaska State Partnership Program uh, with uh, Mongolia. Uh, what, uh, talk about that a little bit. Uh, Alaska National Guard has been partnered with uh, Mongolia for going on eight years now. Uh, we, we started off providing mentor teams, uh, initially training in Mongolia and also going off and using uh, staff advisor and liaison teams uh, in Iraq during deployments. The Mongolians provided fixed site security in Iraq at various FOBs um, and uh, we sent staff advisors going back to 2003. Uh, this is the, I'm on the second rotation here in Afghanistan in OEF. Uh, due to rotate out next month. We've been providing an officer and an NCO uh, along with the uh, Mongolian Expeditionary Task Force at Camp Eggers and then also supporting operations uh, at about six other sites throughout Afghanistan. Um, it's an exciting time. Mongolia is, is, a, is a contributing nation to NATO ISAF. 
while not necessarily being a NATO member, they are a contributor here at ISAF and they're increasing their contribution. In the next year, they're going to add a uh, MI-17 helicopter, Russian helicopter maintenance mentor team at the airport. They're going to also provide a fixed site security or a force protection platoon at the airfield. And this spring, uh, coming spring, they'll be providing another uh, dozen soldiers as a mentor team under the U.S. in RC North at Masri Sharif, uh, bringing their contribution into the range of around 200 soldiers. So that's, that's great news, the coalition increasing uh, participation here in, in Afghanistan. How's your experience been working uh, with the, the Mongolians here since you've been on tour? It's a, a really unique uh, mission, being a two-person team here working with the Mongolians, uh, liaising between the uh, U.S. support elements and, and the uh, task force uh, Cyclone and now Rushmore Garrison, uh, their base operations at Eggers and Phoenix. Uh, it, it's been a learning experience. Um, interacting with uh, foreign nations, ANA, UK, Australians, as well as the, the range uh, at ISAF as well. Uh, it's been uh, definitely broadening experience and gives you much more big picture on, on operations uh, outside of the standard MTO unit type uh, setup as, as mentors and trainers. How critical is, the, is the, state, the National Guard State Partnership Program with countries like Mongolia in, in real-world contingency or, you know, operation environment like this? I, I think, you know, Mongolia has specifically is, is fully capable of doing uh, these type of missions. The, the state partnership piece eases uh, so much of the, the logistics support and coordination between CENTCOM and operational and here in theater. Uh, we, we have challenges, whether it's communications, uh, internet, SIPR, NIPR, things like that that just aren't available in the Mongolian armed forces that uh, the U.S. has so that we're able to uh, conduct operations.